guys welcome back now we're gonna get started with the chapter 5 problems um, the only thing with this chapter is that they introduce reaction forces we're pretty much gonna apply the same stuff we've been doing already with moment forces everything all right so uh, in this chapter you're gonna be finding reactions at different supports okay or using those reactions find you know different forces whatever they ask you Okay, so this problem asks you to determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at the supports. All right, so which one, which ones are the supports? Well, we have A is a hinge slash pin support. Okay, so we're gonna we know that that kind of support has a. Actually, let's let's do this differently. Let's draw a free body diagram of just. So let's say this is our beam, okay? And then we're gonna have our reactions. So at A, over here, we're gonna have A, Y. Okay, and let's just say A, X. So remember these directions that I'm drawing here, I am assuming that's the direction of the support, okay? It doesn't matter which which way you draw them okay so don't get stuck on that okay now at point um at this point over here so right here we're at five feet okay we have you know we have our force in this direction okay and we'll break it down after and then now at b at support b we have a roller okay in a roller, we just have one force because it's constrained to, um, it, it, it can only move in the X direction. You know, it can slide up, slide around, but it can't go up and down, okay? And then last but not least, there is a moment over here. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is just draw a free body diagram real quick, draw the supports, and then draw the rest of the forces, okay? So now with this force over here, the one that I'm kind of hovering over, I'm going to break it down a little further. So we know that we know that this force has two components, one in the x and y. So whenever we see a force that's not aligned with the x and y axis, we're going to break it down like we've done in the past. We know this is 500 Right, using our little triangle here, we know it's four fifths. Okay, times four fifths. Okay, and then we have x component of this force. Okay, and then and, and I drew a little stick as a, as the beam because it says neglect the thickness of the beam. Okay. Okay, and then this will be five hundred. Right. Uh, times uh, three fifths, and this is a five and a three. Okay. Oh yeah, and then I forgot to label this one. So this was by. This was the reaction by. Okay. And now we're pretty much done with the hard part. Okay. So now we just have to find the rest of the reactions. So we have to find ay, ax, and by. In order to do that, all we have to do is, okay, let's do a static equilibrium equation here, f of x equals zero. Okay. So we're gonna have everything, and let's just do a coordinate axis here. So we have x, positive x that way, positive y, and also we're gonna have counterclockwise is positive like always, okay. So everything in the x direction, we have minus ax plus 500 times 3 fifths. Okay, is there any more forces in the x direction? Mm, nope. Okay, and then right away, this tells us that ax, the reaction at in the x direction at a is uh, 
that so 300 pounds okay and then let's do the same thing for y fy equals 0 okay that's all the forces in the x uh, in the y direction we're going to have a y Right, uh, we have minus 500, oops, 4 over 5, okay, uh, plus by equals 0. Right here, where we should be like, hmm, there's two unknowns, one equation. So what can we do? Well, the last the last uh, static equilibrium condition that we can use is the moment equation. And in this case, I have two forces in, at point A over here. Okay, so I'm going to take my moment about point A. Okay, because then I only have to take into account B Y. My this force in the y direction and this moment. Right, so it'll be one one equation, one unknown, and we can solve for b y, and you'll see what I mean by that. So let's take the moment about a. Okay, so let's see. So in chapter four, we said if the line of action intersects the pivot point, there is no moment being transferred to that point. Okay, it's just pushing or pulling on that. So this blue force, the 500 over 3 fifths, okay, the line of action intersects the pivot point. It's in line with it. So it's not really doing anything to try to make the object rotate. Okay, so we only have to take into account the 500, 500, 4 over 5 times five that's the distance all right moments four times distance okay and then this is going to be making the beam rotate clockwise so i'm going to say negative okay now we have by times 10 okay and then last but not least we have this this moment over here that is a negative moment, so we're going to say minus 600 equals 0. All right, so let's see. This is going to be by equals something divided by 10. All right, let's move this over. So that's uh, 500 times 4, it's 2000. Gonna make sure that's correct. <laughs> yeah, two thousand. Okay, move it over to that side. Move the six hundred over to that side. So it's plus six hundred. Okay, and then we have twenty six hundred divided by ten. So we left with two hundred sixty pound force in the wider in the by direction. Okay. We're getting there. And now, going back to our Fy equation, we have Ay okay, is equal to, let's see, this is 400 right, minus By, so minus 260. And let's see, 400 minus 260, so we have 140 pounds. Right. And yeah, so those are the reactions. Okay. However, um, we're kind of, kind of done, kind of not. Okay. Some professors will just say, okay, find the reactions and that's it. Like in the AX, AY, um, BY, just leave them like that. Others might ask you to, okay, what's the, the, you know, the total reaction at A. Okay or the magnitude of the reaction. And that's just gonna be our AX squared, right? The magnitude of those two at A plus 
plus a y squared. Okay. That'll be 300 squared plus 140 squared. Okay, and then this should give you a 300. Oops, and this is a squared. 331, roughly 331 pounds. Okay, and in what direction is that reaction going? And again, just like before, and I kind of skipped chapter three because I figured chapter four is chapter four and five are pretty much the most important ones that involve everything from chapter three to one. Okay, and then we know this is a y over a x. Okay, inverse tan uh, three hundred. Nope, 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 two, no, one forty divided by three hundred, and you get twenty five degrees, approximately. Okay, so we were to go back to the drawing and draw the reactions. We know BYL has one component, so we know there is a reaction like this. This is BY. Okay. And then we had AX going in this direction, right? And then we had AY going a little bit in the positive Y direction, okay? And then our RA, the reaction of those two. So AX plus AY give us A vector going this way. And this will be our RA. Okay, at a 25 degree angle. All right, but yeah, so if you don't know which way you, your professor wants you to uh, leave them as, I would just ask, and that way that saves you some, some work, okay? But yeah, this is pretty much the principles of just finding the reactions um, of a, you know, the reaction at different supports, okay? Uh, so the, our, the, what we did was free body diagram, we split up all the forces in the X and Y, make sure everything's either in the X or Y. We drew all the reactions at the different supports, and then we just applied static equilibrium equations. And that is literally going to be everything we're going to be doing for your chapter 5, I believe. All right. Uh, thanks for your time, guys. I'll see you in the next video.